we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. It's that uh, spot bot. is flowing truck is running great gonna go get a single centrifuge stand and we're taking it just to spruce grove so clean harbor is here in red deer to spruce grove to pipe tech and then dropping that off that's it pretty simple nothing too strenuous looks like it's gonna be another scorcher of a day you can tell it's already got the haze in the morning you know it's gonna be hot it's on already. How hot? Couldn't tell you. It's got to be 25 already. That crack. Oh, that pisses me off. One little tiny rock chip. Like, should have got it fixed. Then and there. It's going to be in your guys' face all the time. What do you do? I think the Mackenzie overpass might be closed, so we might have to go a long way around or go through town. Minor. We'll get going here right soon.
your tax form so we can tax you. <sighs> I haven't made any money. Why are you taxing me? I made some peanuts. Thanks for the contributions, anyone that contributed to Patreon. Four six, just under four six, so I'm good. Shane's got the fully dressed one, so he's a little bit. He's just under four nine, which is fine. We just have to be under five one. We'll just scoot right up Highway Two to Glen Park. Glen Park over across to Highway Sixty, cut across there. That goes right into Devon. Continue on north through Devon, cross the river up the other side to the set of lights. That is 627, and we'll cut west, and then we'll come in on the backside of Spruce Grove, which takes us right to the industrial park. You don't have to deal with any of Spruce Grove lights and 16A or 16S, whatever it is. Hate it. Too busy. All right, let's get going on this mission.
just went by Discovery, Leduc number one, or Leduc number one Discovery, whatever it is. So on the way up here, I was like, oh man, it's, 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 it's one o'clock. I was like, dude, I totally have time. I'm like, oh, I'll just park on the side of the road and walk in. Cause there's not enough. I'm not gonna boss hog in there. It looks kind of tight. I'd have to drive over there long by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, I don't want to wreck anything, so. <laughs> but I was totally, I'm like, oh man, I'll just park on the one side of the road or tuck myself in the range road. It looks like they're in the middle of like, possibly widening it. I don't know if they're gonna continue on. I don't think they're gonna four lane this. I highly doubt that. I think they're just gonna widen it up a little bit further past the intersection there where you take across to Nisky there. So yeah, it's all tore up and all shut down construction zone. I'm like, well, crap. There goes that idea. Cause I don't, I was into it big time. I was gonna go there. I'm like, oh man, I got the whole afternoon. Well, I don't have the whole afternoon. I could, but my wife be like, where you be? So I was gonna go in there and shoot some footage cause I'm kind of hyped about doing that. I just, I didn't want to drive all the way here and burn my own fuel. Well, I will. I don't know, I'll be like, hey hon, wanna go on a date? She's like, oh great, where are we going? Earl's Keg, Olive Garden, Oilfield Museum, hot dogs. <laughs> I'm sure they got some glorious food there. Leduc's got a, or not Leduc, Devon's got a couple nice, nice places to eat. We used to hang out there lots when we first kind of met. We would hang out at the river down there before that was all developed. It would be like the only place you could like get away. We'd come from uh, Spruce Grove and we go down there and dip in because it was pretty shallow along the inside bank, right where the kind of parking lot is now. That's all super developed and we used to just sit down there and the lawn chairs and stick them right in the river and they would just commence drinking. <laughs> Cause we're all burns, we have nothing else better to do. Go stay cool when it's hot. And look, what, what else am I gonna look at? There's nothing else to look at. We go to all sorts of places and Edmonton has some pretty cool stuff all over to check out. But I've seen it all. It's not really anything. Oilfield Ridge, and another one I need to do is, uh, damn it, I can't remember what the name of that one, but in Pinoca has the, uh, oh, I can't remember what it is. It has something to do with all the automobiles. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to look it up. Insert here now. I've gone there twice. They had some pretty cool car shows there through the years. I've been there a few times. It was pretty sweet. They got like a small um, Air Force museum there. I think they have a bomber in there. Not, not like the World War II bomber. I think it's just a couple of the DCs. I think it's just a couple of the DCs and stuff. Don't even consider those bombers. Don't even consider those bombers. They're not, bombers. They're not, bombers. They're not even bro. Transportation Museum, that's what it is. There we go, ding, 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 ding. Okay, home Jeeves, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. I'll say spare you the drive home.